it's another day for another tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create the gaussian blur effect on your smartphone using pixel app the gaussian blur effect is an effect that can be used to spice up your design and more specifically you can use it to make your design pop and it can be created on your smartphone using pixel app well not just pixel app with the assistance of some app you can do this and i'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial so do well to watch to the end of this video to learn the secret hack on how to create a Gaussian blur using your smartphone. Trust me, after this tutorial, it's going to be easy and fast to create Gaussian blur with Pixel App anytime, any day, anywhere. So let's begin. So this is the design we'll be working with today. I've made the design already on Pixel App, so I'm just going to add glass morphism to it. So to do this, we'll add a shape layer and then we'll edit as we like like i'm going to increase the radius to a certain extent like to 10 then because what i'm trying to add is not just a regular morphism i want to add glass morphism for a text box for those of us that read comics you get so i'll add after adding this i'll rotate it where i want it to be then i'll add a triangle a triangle shape so you add a shape layer again and this time we select a triangle this triangle and then we resize and place to fit a text box a text box so you could use the same angle that you use for the the fixed rectangle but i just want to use this and i'll rotate to fit how i feel it's okay then i'll just rotate and since it's, they are both having the same color it's kind of it's going to be easier so once you've achieved this you select open your layer panel select both layers and merge them yeah after a few seconds it'll be done and i'm trying to create two text box so i'll just copy this and use the crop to then flip the other way or flip it in a vertical in a horizontal manner and then reduce the size and place it however i want it to be then after placing this, well, let me still reduce the size of this one. But after achieving all these, you, you, after the placement and everything, we we'll then use the draw tool. Lock both layers. Then we we'll, you we'll use the draw tool. Now increase the pen size to its maximum. Then rub on both two angles, two adjacent angles yeah two opposite or adjacent angles of your design make sure it's big and it cover both sides and then you measure the city as the two deck textbooks with that particular layer and after achieving this we are going to use the max tool to cut out the black layers the reason why we had to add that layer because we wanted to contain the full canvas for the design so you switch your bezier mode to move and then you cut out the black layer once you are done with that side, just tap copy there and raise it to the other side. And now we have successfully cut out the black side. Then after achieving this, you hide that layer, lock and hide. Then you save this image. Save this as an image. Don't forget, always save as ultra because if you want it to come out in a good quality, ultra is the best. I would say you should save in. Then after this, we'll head to PixArt. So there are a lot of tools you can use. You can use PixArt, you can use PhotoRoom, you can use PSCC. But I want to use PixArt because it's like the easiest and you can even use it while you're offline. So you select your image. And then under effects, you just swipe, keep scrolling until you see effects. Yeah, and you just tap on effects and under effects, you see blow. There are there's recent simple effects with blow you're looking for. So this first blow and you can reduce and increase the opacity according to the kind of gaussian blow you are trying to if um, to input in your design to create for your design you just save it and it, we are not done yet we can we'll go back to we'll go to the back just have this stick icon then we'll edit the image a bit so that it will not be exactly the same as the normal image what you are going to do here we'll edit the contrast uh, we we'll increase it because we want it to contrast to a bit to be a bit contrast on the normal image. Then 
will also edit the brightness, reduce it a bit more. It should not it depends on what you, what you are trying to achieve though. Then once you are done, you save this and we head back to Pixel Lab. So now you open your Pixel Lab, continue from where we stopped. So the, you unhide the layer first thing you unhide that layer and then you add that image we imported exported from pixart you add it as your texture layer then you just take you don't need to edit anything so you see normally we've been able to create the Gaussian blur like this but just to add effects and make it more realistic we we'll use the inner shadow so you add shadow not this black shadow you're going to want to add white shadows because it will make it look more realistic and more like um a real glass an actual glass yes so you can play around with the blur radius too so you add the text layer and add whatever text you are going to you want to add according to your design for me i just want to add a text from quotes so you just tap as quotes at the top of your screen top right hand of your screen and select the quotes i'll just select this and i'll adjust the size to what i want and the font that i'm using so this is just like fictional to show you but this was not how the actual design was so i'll select color i can select black just select something that's contrasting to your design that can still make the text be seen so i'll select black and i'll rotate the text to fit what i want now i'll change the font to month now because i used month in the rest of the design so i'll, I'll just adjust it to fit what i want and then i'll copy that text layer and i will add a new quote like i said it's just fiction i just know the actual design then i'll rotate it and make it fit in with the other text box so i'll just adjust adjust and place then i'll once i'm done i'll zoom out to examine the design first but you see this black color it's not really it's not quite fitting so let's just adjust it to white so even if you turn it to white and it's not really visible now don't worry we we'll also um edit the design on lightroom and by the time we are done it should be visible so just save your design don't forget ultra and once you are done we'll send it to let's wait for a few seconds yeah now it has saved we'll go to lightroom to do the edit so open lightroom open lightroom and select our image remember the folder you exported to so that's the folder you import from and then you adjust your you adjust your your contrast just edit it like you normally do this is just a style and remember when you are editing your image one thing you have to take note of is that one edit cannot work for like all your designs you get because designs the colors the the highlights they are not the same so a particular edit is for a particular design so i'm just doing this so i'm just saying this so that you know copy my exact settings when you're when you're editing another flyer and it will not work for you so i'll do this and once i'm done i'll go to color I go to color to increase the vibrance. No saturation. No. We stay away from saturation. It's kind of spoils the design. So vibrance, and then I'll color grade it. There are those three dots there. I'll just color grade, color grade the mid tones and the highlights. Uh, just those two. The highlights. And once I'm done color grading them, color grading to fit with my background. I just hit done, and then I can save this to my gallery. So that's pretty much it so that'll be all for today just try to stick around for the next tutorial and if this is the first time you're finding my channel you can subscribe for more videos now let's check the end design in my gallery so this is what it looks like yeah this is what it looks like so you can still read the text it's not see even when you zoom, zoom out you can still read the text so don't forget 
to subscribe as a graphic designer comment any problem you are currently facing whether it's on getting clients or on trying to design itself and i'll try to attend to it bye so that's how it is done if you like that video don't forget to follow for more